Uh, by the way, we are doing the simulcast with uh, our Discord friends. So if you haven't joined our Discord, uh, it's free to join. Uh, just, uh, I'm going to, you know what, better yet, I'm going to put the link on my comment section. Okay, I'm going to pin it. So you, if you guys want to uh, join our Discord, just feel free to join. Uh, make sure, don't be shy, guys. Okay, uh, we are live pretty much every, uh, every day. So uh, make sure the people are in and out throughout the day. So just make sure come in and pop in and just say hello. And then don't be shy. Okay, having said that, Amazon is still having a sale. I think, I think this is the March Madness sale going on at Amazon. Okay, it's so still probably the Express still on sale at the moment. Here, let me flip the camera for a second here. Hold on a second here, let me flip it. I think the Bravo Booster Pro still at 559. Hold on, 559 there. Really good, great price, okay? 559 for the Bravo Booster Express. And then, let's see, uh, uh, Bravo Booster Pro selling for, hold on a second here, uh, 679 as well, 679. That's great deal too, okay? Bravo uh, Impressed. Actually, no, this is uh, Touch is on sale for $800. So uh, all the Bravo products is on sale right now. Take advantage of that. Uh, I do have a link, I believe, down below. And also, uh, Blind Shaker, 12% off at $19. So you could spend $80 on Weber Blind Shaker, or you can get one of these. 12% plus the additional 5% off. So, okay, you are looking at, what, 17 bucks? Uh, vessel hand grinder is 50% off at the moment, and the plus you got additional 15% off. Yeah, on the additional 15% off, so it seems like they really want to get rid of it, that grinder right now. I mean, I've been using it for a while, they're great uh, for camping trip, they're tiny, I mean, they're really, really uh, small. I mean, they're great, fun grinder to use uh, if you're camping. At home, eh, not quite. But at home, if you're looking for some bargain, uh, Timer Chestnut C2 is on sale at $48, plus 5% off coupon code as well. So yeah, I mean, that's a good deal, okay? Uh, under $50 for Timer C2. Uh, so this is pretty good grinder, okay? They're very, very capable grinder there. The good adjustment as well. Or just around the bottom too, yeah. So they're they're pretty decent, okay. They're a pretty decent grinder. And I think they have a lot more, okay. They have a lot more, but I think that's the one uh, I like to highlight it. Uh, since you know, if, since if you guys are looking for some coffee machine, I think they're a pretty good deal as well. Uh, let's see here. I think pretty much it, guys. Okay. I mean that is what's going on in Amazon uh, this month. Hopefully this month. Okay. Okay, hold on. So someone asked me about the Lillette Bianca, uh, you mean version 3? Uh, version 3 is a very, I mean, I, I own a version 2. They're good. Okay, don't get me wrong. They're fantastic. A coffee machine. Version 3 is even better. Okay. Uh, they give you a different coating as well. You can go all white, all black. And version 2, you don't have any options. Okay, you have to buy the stainless steel. That looks great, but they're pain in the butt to clean it. Okay, it's not. I mean, if I if I have my choice, I think I go with all black. Uh, looks really sharp there. Having said that, let's make some coffee. Okay, uh, we're gonna make some cortado. Okay, we're gonna do some cortado this afternoon. Uh, let's see here. Someone asked, uh, "What is their setup from Brabber? What step? Okay, what is a step up from Brabber?" Do you think, you know what, any grinder, any flatbed grinder is great. I mean, that's definitely a step up. Uh, since a uh, built-in grinder is conical, I think I go with the flat. Uh, having said that, goodness, you have a lot of options. Okay, you can go with the Torrent grinder, DF64, DF54. Uh, if you want to go something more Italian, classic, we have, uh, let's see here, uh, Eureka, Minya. Okay, there are... They're really solid grinder as well, solid flatbed grinder. So, I mean, you have a lot of options, okay? You have a lot. If you're looking for burr options, the F64 is the way to go. You know, you can choose, you know, I mean, SSP makes uh, 64 millimeter uh, burrs. Man, there are, there are a ton of them, okay? 
you can see the MP birds, all MP uh, cast, lap suite. What else? HU birds. Yeah, you have a lot of options. Okay. All right. So today's coffee. You know what? Something about milk and some fermentation coffee. I've been really playing with uh, milk and uh, I've a, I have a three different fermentation coffee here from uh, Presta Coffee. One of them is blueberry. One of them is a watermelon. Okay. This one is more like has strong peach flavor as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's pull the, you know, let's do blueberry. Okay. Let's make like blueberry, you know, like milkshake type. Okay, Let, let's mix like blueberry milkshake because uh, with the fermentation coffee, with a little bit of milk, man, they're fantastic by the way. They're really, really nice. All right. Yeah, it smells great here. Yeah, it smells wonderful. Uh, let's see, someone asked, should I sell my Brisa Express and get a use? Oh. The used Bravo Pista Pro for 500 bucks. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Okay. I mean, only thing you are going to get from getting a, a Pro is a, you know, more grinder setting. And also thermal jet. Okay. Thermal jet is uh, fast. All right. Very, very fast there. So, so let's go 18 gram dose. comes to grinder, I'm going to be using my DF83V. DF83V. Right. Great, great thing about this grinder is I don't have to do RDT. Okay. Uh, comes to grinder setting, I set at number 15 for now. Okay, I'm just taking a risk right now. This one, I install MP burst too. Okay, so this is MP burst. So it's gonna be, give you a lot more clarity, but I'm gonna be uh, uh, mixed with a uh, uh, whole milk, so it's gonna be give you a little bit of interesting taste. Okay, it's gonna be very interesting taste there. All right, I'm just gonna let's do some little bit of puck prep here. All right, so uh, Justin uh, tried the uh, strawberry from Good Brothers. I mean, they're really nice, by the way. Okay, I really enjoy the coffee from Good Brothers Coffee. Let's see here. I'm looking for my dosing funnel. Okay. Where's my dosing funnel go? Hold on. I need a missing dosing funnel here. Man, I gotta find it. Okay, just like that. I mean, you could at this point, I'm just gonna use my AutoCom to quick WDT. It does work wonderful though, I have to say. Uh, it's, but here's the thing about uh, this one versus uh, manual. Obviously, you're going to get a better result from manual. But if you're in a hurry, Autocom is fantastic. Okay. Uh, looks, smells wonderful. Just add my puck screen. All right. There we go. I'm just going to heat up my cup. Okay, I'm using the Lacte. Okay, so this one has a... It doesn't have a, a lactose, so lactose-free milk. Let's 
take a look here. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go here. Pull the shot. Man, this is a fast. This shot is fast, guys. Man, this is more like turbo shot. Okay, you know what? It's okay. This is a... Uh, uh, we're gonna make turbo shot with... I surely well, I don't want to waste good coffee, so we're just gonna go with it. Let's do some little bit of latte art, folks. Okay, a little bit of latte art. All right. As you can see, there's no crema, okay? Not a lot of crema. Yeah. Dog Ben say latte, what? Yeah, I don't want to say that words there. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. Hopefully you guys can see it. You know what, let me give you guys a close up, guys. Okay. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Okay. Not bad at all. Okay. Uh, this is great thing about the make uh, make like cappuccino or cort uh, cortado. I think uh, Dogman say this is not a cortado. Uh, I think he, he's not, he may not be wrong. Okay, I think that this is more like, more like a small cappuccino. Okay, small cappuccino there. So let's give it a try anyway. I'm just gonna have one sip. Yeah, yeah. Man. Man. Boy, even though, so this one was, imp I mean, this shot was terrible, by the way. Okay, it's not a good shot. But man, look at that. I mean, this is a such tasty. If you put anything with, uh, any terrible shot of espresso with uh, any milk. Okay, they're great. All right, they're, they're fantastic. Better yet, I'm, I'm just gonna have a quick one pump, okay? All right, you know, my channel has a rule, one pump only, okay, one pump of caramel. Since, you know, I don't do uh, sugar, but I'd like to make one exception, okay? I'd like to make one exception to the rule here. Just one pump and then just have a one sip, All right? Just a one sip rule. Here you go, cheers, everybody. Mm. Man, great. Man, that's fantastic, folks. That's fantastic. <coughs> that is great. Hold on. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Man, if you are just joining us, goodness. Hold on a second. Uh, we are talking about the March Madness series going on at Amazon right now. We have a lot of coffee deals going on, so uh, and I put the link down below as well. Make sure to check it out. Okay, if you have all the coffee gears, don't bother. But you know, if you are still looking for some coffee gear or machine, you gonna, I got a coffee. You know, I got a couple links for you. Make sure. Uh, Dogman say one pump, one sip, just for a second. See how. It feels. I don't know what he's talking about there. Anyway, so uh, again, uh, uh, I'm gonna put the, my Discord link on my comment section. So you guys uh, wants to join us, 
on our Discord, just uh, come hang out with us. Uh, we have a dog man, he's, uh, uh, he's on our Discord as well. And then we have, uh, let's who else there? We have uh, our buddy Jordan joining us as well. And uh, you know, we, sometimes we usually have uh, like 10, 15 people. Uh, most times at least like five, four or five people hang out. So yeah, just like having a small chat room. It's a video chat, okay? So a video and audio. So you guys come hang out. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask to you know everybody as well. So we have a lot of experts in our Discord. So, you know, pretty laid back. Ooh. We just talk about coffee, that's it, nothing else. All right, so what else? Uh, Milan said non-espresso deals. I mean, these are all the hand grinders, okay, they're pretty good. All right. Marco asked me how long did you take to ma uh, ma I'm not, I'm not even come close to master it. Some people take years, okay. I mean, if you see a lot of latte art champions on Instagram, They've been working on it for the last eight years, 10 years, you know. But if you are in the busy cafe, okay, if you are in busy cafe, uh, guess what? You're gonna be, you, you, you're gonna be good at latte art in about a couple of months. Okay, you're gonna be good at latte art in about a couple of months because you are doing it, you know, every single day. Not just only one, two, you do like 50 to 100 latte arts every single day. So you're gonna be really, really good at it. Okay, so. I mean, if you if you learn how to do latte art fast, get a part-time job at like local coffee shop. I'm talking about a specialty coffee shop, but not Starbucks, all right? Specialty coffee shop that they actually, okay, do latte art. Latte art is a little tough to do latte art with the two go cups. So yeah, just make sure, all right. If you go to cap, uh, if you're not working at the cafe. The cafe has actual glass, okay, actual latte or cup for the customer. I mean, still looks still. You know, I'm gonna have a one last sip. Hmm, man, that's great. All right, Jose missed my coffee today. With the, oh man, sorry to hear that, Jose. All right, sorry to hear that there. Okay, and then Justin said, and all that full fat milk add up to my. Sure, blood and liver, yeah, absolutely. That's why I only do one sip at the most, well, maybe one or two sips at the most. Yeah, it's not, you know, dairy's not, some people are okay with the dairy, but for me, I cannot do dairy. I mean, this is a lactose-free milk too, but yeah. Dairy is a big no-no, all right. Okay, uh, Dogman said, I will take, uh, take the fat over the sugar, okay. That's for sure, the sugar is a killer. Okay, Milan said, I wish I could drink coffee plain like that. Yeah. All right. Let's see. There's a one sip. Rules turn into five, into five sip. No, I think so far it is two sips, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to stop right there. Or five. No. Yeah. You have to be disciplined. What else? Uh, let's see here. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. I, actually, today is my, I think this is my first one for today, right? Yeah, first live streaming for today. I think I, uh, I posted a video this morning about the DF83V. I mean, this grinder is, I mean, if you are looking for some uh, entry level, entry level high-end grinder, that sounds a little, a little weird, right? But I'm talking about affordable, okay, affordable grinder that you know, give you that large burr, large flapper, uh, 800 bucks, 83 millimeter. That's pretty good price. Okay. That's pretty good price. But if you are thinking about upgrading to SSPs, uh, think hard about that. Okay. Because the SSPs are like 350 bucks for the SSP. So $800 is fine. But once you add it to like SSPs, they push you over to like almost 1200 bucks. Once you start talking about $1,200 range, now you have to put in the conversation to Zerno, perhaps, uh, Orbit, uh, P64. It's not that far off. Okay, so make sure, think about it. You know, think about, you know, how much money you want to invest 
on your DF83, but stock price is great, okay? It comes with a DRC burst, diamond-like coating with espresso focused or filter. I think I go with the espresso focused if I were you, okay? Not the filter focused, all right? So it give you that option. Filter focused, uh, hard, you know, it's hard to put espresso shots because made for filter, but at least espresso focused burst, you can do espresso and filter, okay? So, you know, it's somewhat versatile, all right? All right, no Mazer. Uh, the Mazer just came up with their grinder, right? Well, uh, I forgot the name of it. Okay, I know that Mazer come up with another grinder as well. I think that's good entry level grinder. So, I think they have what, 58 millimeter, right? The 58. So, I mean, I prefer 64. Yeah, I really like the uh, uh, DF54 or Gen yeah, Fellow Ogenti Flat Bear Filter. Okay, that's, that's really nice. Uh, Filio, there we go. Filio is 64 millimeter. The Mazer Filio. That's also a pretty good grinder as well. I don't think exactly how much. Uh, that, do you know the price on that, Doug, man? I'm, I'm not sure how much. Okay, could be 1,000? Under 1,000, over 1,000, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to be at the Chicago at 1,000 euros. Okay, it's going to be you know, over $1,000 on U.S. dollars, so... Yeah, I'm going to be at, uh, I hope I'm going to see them at the uh, uh, Coffee Expo in April in Chicago. I'm going to be there, so. Uh, we're going to do some live streaming. I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to post a lot of videos, so. Uh, yeah, let's go live streaming anyway. Well, it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, I think we are done for today. I'm going to put the Discord link as well. Make sure you come hang out with us, okay? Make sure you come hang out with us. All right, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.